Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I'm going to just quickly show you my new kit. Now this is some Christmas cards. Um, you get four Christmas cards and you get two envelopes. Um, so they are really nice to have in your sort of like stash. So if you want to print off a Christmas card and make it quickly, they are there ready for you. Now I designed these because these are the ones that I'm going to be sending out at Christmas. So I thought you guys might like them as well. Um, so they're really, really lovely. So we've got this one, which is Merry Christmas. This is the back of the car. So I've got this lovely, lovely flower, which is, matches the front. Um, I've got my little happiness and crafting um, logo there as well. We've got um, and two little tags and a little sort of Merry Christmas little plaque there as well. So that's a lovely one. We have this one which says Happy Christmas on there. So you've got some nice dingly dangly little snowflakes on there. Um, and again, you've got two tags and a Happy Christmas. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing with these as well. And then I've got two sort of like um, vintage ones. These are sort of like general ones. And then I've just got two vintage. So obviously we all have people that we have can send different things. Some people like vintage, some people don't. Um, so I thought I'd give you uh, two different options. Um, so this is a lovely one. She says Merry Christmas with Santa on there. Again, two tags and a little plaque, which are lovely. And then we got this one here, which is a Christmas carol um, with Santa on it again. And again, two tags and a little plaque. So they're really easy to do. Now I have got two envelopes. I've got one which I have, which goes with a vintage one. And then I've got a plain white one. So you can use it like this or you can cut this out and use this as a template so you can put it use any papers that you've got just cut it out pop it on top draw around it and then you've got a template to use any style paper you don't even have to use it for christmas um, it, you can use it for anything so we've got plain white one and i've got the grungy one so there we go so i'm going to show you what i have been doing how i have made them up so I've got one to do in a minute. I'm going to do this one for you in a minute, show you how to pop it all together. But I have got them here and I think they look absolutely gorgeous. Let's just start off with this one. So I've got, I've made the two little tags. So I've made this one with a little um, ribbon at the top. I've just put two little slots in there and slotted the ribbon through like that, which I think looks lovely. So if you are giving somebody a bottle of wine or something for Christmas you could hang it over the top like that which I think looks really nice and also this one because I was thinking as well if I'd made this a little bit bigger it would go over the top of a bottle um, but I think they look nice but I used this one so I thought that would go on a gift and just stick down like that and how I made that I just cut out a little circle and I crossed over the piece of ribbon and then I just stuck that on just so it makes sure we're stuck down properly. And then you can just stick that onto a gift like that. And I think that looks really, really lovely. So that's two little tags. This one I have just stuck onto a piece of ribbon. Um, and I popped it around the card, around the envelope. Now I've left this one white because I thought it looks really, really nice like that. But again, you can decorate it however you like. So this is just the little closure. So that is just stuck onto there like that piece of ribbon and it's simple as anything. And then what I've done, you just open them out and I've just made the card easy. I'll pop some stickles on because you know how I love my stickles. And that just opens up, you've got a lovely card. Um, I've printed these onto 250 gram paper now that is really, really sturdy um, and it's really, really lovely. I'm absolutely loving them. So that will just pop in there. And they, I've left quite a bit of room in there so um, you can add other bits and pieces to it as well. So if you wanted to pop in some happy mail, you can do that as well. So I'm just gonna pop this to the side. So that's the first one. And then I've got this one. I've left the front plane. But again, if you wanted to, to obviously pop somebody's name on there, you can. I've made a tag out of this one and I popped some stickles on there. 
so that can hang on a little gift so if you're sending um, a nice card you can pop this on a sort of box of chocolates or something like that which I think would look nice and then I've done this one for the closure for this one I don't know whether you remember I did a very similar idea of a closure um, in a video before I'll try and link the video down below so you just take that up like that and then you open it up and I've just got the happy Christmas on in there and then you just open it up all as I've done I pop some stickles on there just to give it a little bit of a Christmas sparkle um, which I think is lovely and then you just open it up like that perfect so all as you do with the cards is cut them out and fold them in half and they are all ready to go and then you can decorate them however you like you can leave them plain um, so that just pops in there like that and then the closure is just a little tag and what I've done I've done two little slots in here and I've just popped through some um, of this little um, bit of thread on there and I've just stuck it underneath there I've just popped a little bit of glue so it won't pull through so you're not going to lose it and that just slots in through there so that won't open so that's great so that's another one you could print out some more of these and pop them on the front um, but that's that one and on this one which is the sort of vintagey looking one I made a little tag like that I have made a paper clip like that and then the closure on this one I put two little holes in the tag and then I've just wrapped this around just like that so again you just pop a hole in the top and the bottom and thread it through the back so then that just goes on and wraps around like that and then you just tie a bow at the top so that is your closure which I think is really simple which is lovely and this one I haven't made it into a card I've made it into a little notebook or a little journal which is lovely so you can write happy Christmas to somebody in there and they could have their little Christmas notes in there um, but I think that was a really nice as well so you don't have to have them as cards you can make them into little journals so that can just pop in there like that and then these go around so I think these are really really lovely and so simple to do so this one I've got here I've cut them all the little pieces out already so that's the envelope and all as I've done I've just scored it not quite sure whether you can see I've just scored these lines around here just so that they bend up and easy like that so they go just bend in like that and that folds up and you just stick these sides down so it's very very simple and a really lovely envelope so that's the envelope let me glue it down oops so this again is just my um, tacky glue in here so just pop a little bit of glue on here like that both sides like this down there again you can use double sided tape use whatever you like on here and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to stick those down like that don't glue all the way to the top so really really easy to do and that just sits there like that so I think that is just lovely really really nice okay so that's the envelope this is the card again I have just literally cut around it so this is the template where is it where's this one here pop those to the side so literally I have just you can just cut around it fold it in half and you have a lovely Christmas card ready done easy as that so you can cut that out on your paper cutter as well so you get these lines really really straight so that's the card so again embellish it however you like you can pop little bits of glitter on here you can add a little bit more lace whatever you like to do a little bit of lace down the side 
So these I'm going to show you how to do. We will have a closure on here. Which way? We could have a closure. Shall I show you again how to do this closure? Because that was quite simple to do and it's quite effective. So we could have this on here, couldn't we? With the closure. I need to stick this. Let me see if I've got a piece of card. Oh, that will do. That will do on there. If I cut it off straight, does that look very straight? I think this was from my tags I was doing the other day. So let me just cut that down. Make it straight. So a little bit of scrap paper should work. Now that has to make sure it's big enough to fit in like that, which it is. Now let me just ink around the edges so these cards don't have to just be cards you can make them into little journals you could pop little pockets in here either side um, so it's like can pop a little gift card or something in there which would be nice lots and lots of ways to do these so don't just look at them as Christmas cards so I'm going to stick that on top think a little bit of glue down the middle again you can put some cheesecloth or something like that on there if you wanted to it depends whether you're going to give these you probably send it in the post but I would stick this down if you were going to do that I wouldn't put anything like this on the outside but these will be great as gifts to give to somebody if you're going some to somebody's house over Christmas so what we're going to do stick these little end bits down get a little bit of glue on here again just with tacky glue I think on the other ones I popped brads through either side but I'm just mm. going to glue this one down like that Stick it down, make sure that's stuck down, make sure that just fits in there, perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's have a look, I'm going to, what should we have, brown, I've got this lovely brown sort of thread or cord, I'm not quite sure what you would call it. And it's got the gold on it. I'm going to just take the gold off because it tends to sort of unravel. So I'm just going to just take that off. It just comes off really easy. Okay. So I'm going to make a little hole in the top. Like that. And I'm going to... Just pop that through like that. So that will go in there. Now we don't want this to be too long, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut this piece off. I can cut a little bit up more off later. Now I want to just do two little lines, two little cuts in here, just to thread this through. Okay, so I'm going to just open that up. So I just want just a quarter of an inch, if that, just like that. I'm just going to get my little rolly tool and just open it up. Did I go through? I don't think it did. I don't think I pressed hard enough. There we go. Think that works so just do it that's it just so you've got like a little um, hole through there now do you think I will be able to thread this through there let's have a look probably not what I'm going to do which might make it a little bit easier let me get my my needle there we go and then just pop that through there 
and pull it through. There we go, that's a little bit easier, isn't it? Perfect. So let's pop that in there. Just make that. You don't want it too too long and you don't want it too short either. So let's just have it so it pops over the top. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a little bit of glue. And if you've got one of these little pointy ones, they're perfect. Because I'm just going to squeeze a bit of glue underneath there. Just to stick that down. Like that. Just so that they don't move. And that goes in like that. So make sure that's stuck down. I'm going to just oops, chop that off a little bit. You can pop little dingly dangly bits or beads or anything off there as well. So that's your closure. So that just opens up like that and I think that's lovely. So you can put whatever you like on the front but I'm going to make this one into a tag. So let's just have a little bit more of this, chop that off, take the gold off. You can see all the ink all over my hands today. There we go. So let's just, oops, let's make a hole first. Pop a little hole in there. Pop that through. I did have some brown ribbon which I could have used actually. So let's pop that through there. Like that. And then you've got your lovely little tag. Chop those bits off. And you can just tie that round a bottle, pop it onto a box of chocolates, a little gift, whatever you're sending. And I just think they are gorgeous. And then I haven't done anything to this card. But I could pop a little bit of stickles on, couldn't I? Because I do like my stickles. Pop him on Santa's hat. A little bit round his beard and his little cuffs like that. Just so you've got a little bit of bling on there like that little bit on the bells like that we've got a lovely lovely little christmas card super super simple so there we go guys that is your set of christmas cards and i just love them how quick and easy was that just perfect that comes off i won't pop it in because i've popped the stickles on there you can make this ink this up if you wanted to do if you didn't want it so white pop that in there got your tag on the one that i did here which was the little journal i backed this with some tea stain paper or coffee stain paper and then i sewed around it um, just like that so you can see and all as i did i um, stapled the paper in so really, really simple. So that's a lovely little gift. That's a nice little gift as it is, like that, I think, with your little um, closures on. So this will just pop on here, like that. That comes up, and I've just done it so this goes around it, underneath, and then we can tie a little bow if I can to go around the right way pop that underneath tie that up and then you've got a little bow at the top and again you can use all sorts of bits of ribbon and everything on there but I'm loving them that's your little tag and that was the little paper clip so that I did a paper clip because obviously we've got a journal inside so you could use that with the journal but there we go guys that are these are the lovely cards these are the, the uh, vintagey ones and then these are just some pretty little plainer ones um, so if you have two different lots of friends some might like vintage um, and some might like sort of like these are watercolor so these are really nice and that's the same sort of closure so there we go guys that is your little set of um oops 
uh, Christmas cards. I hope you like them. They are in my in my shop at the moment, um, ready to just print off, um, and you can get going and get all your Christmas cards done quick and simple and easy. All right, guys, thank you so so much for joining me. Please stay safe, take care, and I will see you soon. All right, guys, bye bye.